You know, you guys and gals out there will probably recognize the Winchester Model 12, a classic shotgun. But guess what? That's not what we're here for today. Stay tuned and I'll connect the dots. Hi, George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll spend some time at the range, and every now and then we'll reconvene out in my shop back in Houston, or here at the farm in Louisiana where I'll build some fun projects, and we'll share an adventure or two that'll make even a grown man smile. And yes, we're not, we may shoot this guy a little bit, but that's not what the video is going to be all about. We're actually going to talk about this little guy. Looks like a baby Model 12, doesn't it? But it's not. This is a Winchester Model 42. And you know what? It only came in 410 gauge. <gasps> Did I say gauge? Let me check. Hang on a minute. Well, that's what it says. 410 gauge. <laughs> okay, I know I've sort of stirred up a I've stirred up a hornet's nest here, but but it's not really a 410 gauge shotgun. It's actually a 410 bore, because gauge and a lot of you guys already know this. Gauge refers to the number of lead balls it takes to add up to a pound of lead, and so the 410 bore shotgun is actually 67 gauge. So are you confused? Well, me too. But I'll tell you what. Let me just take one more close look, and then we're going to go set up some targets and start shooting. It's going to be fun. You know, the first thing I want to do is to uh, set up some paper over here on our, on our fixture and pattern the uh, 410 and compare it to the 12 gauge. I've never done this, but I think it's going to be an eye-opener for everybody who's thinking about uh, a 410 for the first time. So let me uh, cut some paper here. And then we'll do that real quick. It won't take a second. And then we'll start with some um, with some more interesting shooting. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is shoot um, one one. Uh, I'm shooting number seven and a half. And I'm going to shoot one with a 12 gauge in the top part of our paper. We're only at 20 yards, so the pattern should be fairly small. And uh, then we'll shoot the 410 below it, and we'll be able to compare how many pellets there are for the 12 gauge versus the, uh, the 410. give you a comparison here. <laughs> All right, here's the 410, the Model 42. All right, let's go check it out. I'm going to take the camera out so that we can get a good look. That's the 12 gauge pattern right there, very dense. And then there's the 410 pattern. 410 is actually two patterns are maybe the same size, but boy, that 410 just doesn't have the pellet count. Well, a couple of things. Number one, that uh, pattern on the number seven and a half was pretty thin, and so I wanted to get a little bit closer. Uh, and two, the uh, the lighting changed right over there where we were, and so we've moved here deeper into the woods where we get a more consistent light. And you can see our fixture is um, right there. And I'm going to go load up some 
some clays and we'll shoot a couple of uh, magazines at the clays and um, and see how the model 42 works and by the way this uh, this model 42 was given to me by my uncle about 30 years ago maybe 40 years ago I don't remember when but uh, I didn't get any history from him about the shotguns. Did I say rifle about the shotgun? This one and the Model 12 we looked at earlier. And so I don't know the history, but I do know that that this one <laughs> has a mixed heritage because the the uh, the receiver serial number doesn't match the barrel serial number. The receiver was made in 1953, the barrel was made in 1952. But it shoots pretty good anyway. And so let's see if it'll bust some of those clays down there. <laughs> okay, well, let me go. Let me go set those up again. The picture needs is not the best design, needless to say. I'll go load up another time and and then we'll put some uh, some pop up there Okay, that worked a little better that time. I was trying to, I was trying to keep the pattern on the top side of the uh, of the clay so that it wouldn't hit the board and knock everything off. But um, what else could I tell you about the Model 42 other than the fact that it was made from 1933 until 1963, and so it was in that period when uh, pre-64 when Winchester was making some really fine, really fine firearms. And so I'm really proud to have this one from my uncle. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to set up some cans. We'll shoot some uh, liquid refreshment. And then I've got, um, let me get something. I want to show it to you. Hang on just a second. I was talking to my cousin who lives about a quarter of a mile down the road there. And uh, I was telling him, he asked me what I was going to be filming today. And I told him the Model 42 410 gauge and a uh, 410 bore and... He was, um, and I told him I, I, I had been trying to get a hold of some, some uh, different kinds of of, uh, of uh, shells, and just nothing is available out there because the shelves are so picked over with the uh, with the virus and everything. And I told him what I was trying to get, and uh, he disappeared. Came back an hour later and brought me a box of PDX1 410 Defender. And that's one of the uh, rounds I was trying to get a hold, get my hands on, and it has four discs and um, 16 BBs in there, and there's there's actually two in the box, and so we're going to shoot one at paper, and see what kind of pattern it makes, and then we're going to shoot one at a water jug. And he also brought me a box of 410 triple aught buckshot, uh, triple aught buckshot. <laughs> triple odd that that leaves room in the case for in the shell for uh, for four of those pellets so we're going to shoot that one at paper as well and then we'll find some kind of reactive target but the first thing we're going to do is set up some cans down there and um and see what the number nine shot because we're down to number nine shot now we'll see what the nine shot number nine shot does to the to the cans so let me go get the fixture loaded up and get shooting
Needless to say, I won't be doing any waterfowl hunting with this shotgun for two reasons. One, because it's a 410, and can you guess the other reason that I won't be, any, be doing any waterfowl hunting? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let's see what happens now with, the, um, with our liquid refreshment down there and the number nine shot. Now my friend, um, not really a friend, but I can call him that because he's a YouTube friend. That's uh, Buffalo's Outdoors, and he did a video shooting the uh, tungsten, uh, tungsten turkey loads in his 410. It was a great video. And at some point, uh, in, I want to do some work also with some tungsten loads in both the 410 and also the 20 gauge. And so you can look forward to that content sometime down the road. But uh, anyway, let me get uh, the paper let me hang some paper and we'll shoot the slug, the, 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 uh, the defender round with the four disc and the 16 pellets. And then we'll shoot the uh, triple odd buckshot and, uh, and then some more reactive targets. So let me get some paper hung, as they say. Okay, I've got one of the Defender shells and one of the triple odd buckshot. And you can tell there's a difference because this is a three inch, this is a two and a half inch. And so this uh, Model 42, being a little bit later in production, can handle both the three inch and the, and the two and a half inch. So I'm gonna load two, the uh, two buckshot first. and then the defender and so the defender is going to be the one that goes that goes first so we're going to start here with the disc four disc and 16 bbs and then we're going to finish with with two uh two uh, loads of triple lot buckshot four pellets in each in each shell Okay, let's go down range and see what we've, what we've got. So here's the, these are the two, um, the two uh, triple odd buckshot. One, two, three, four pellets. One, two, three, four pellets. And then this is the defender. There's a disc here, disc here, disc here, and a disc here. And the rest, or maybe a disc there, I'm not sure. But anyway, the rest of these are BBs. So both of those, gee whiz, those are pretty tough. But um, I tell you what I really want to do now is finish with some reactive targets for both the one remaining, the one remaining defender we have and, a, uh, and also the, the triple lot buckshot. So let me take the paper down. We'll get some reactive targets up there and have some fun. Okay, these are the 410, 410 handgun slugs. Hey folks, it's all I could get, right? And here's the PDX-1 410 Defender personal defense round. I'm gonna load the uh, Defender round first. That'll be, the last, that'll be the last shot. And I'm gonna load the slugs first. So, here we go. Water jug on the right is going to be the uh, the three slugs.
Well, I'll tell you what, folks. I, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I have really enjoyed bringing the 410, 410 bore, 410 gauge. It's your choice. But I've really enjoyed bringing you the 410 Winchester Model 42. What a classic, beautiful, beautiful shotgun and a joy to shoot. So I'll see you guys in the next video.